What's up, party people in the place to be? All right, so here's what's going on here. Uh, I have a lot of DAS 3D models. Uh, I like to import them, export them, and then import them into Blender because I can just save them in the asset browser, as I'm sure many of you may have. And I've also heard that this comes up with Sketchfab models as well. However, here's what I want to do. Uh, as you can see, I've imported this model in here and under sh view viewport shading. And in case any of you are wondering, I have it set on random instead of just material. I just kind of like that. So I go and I do have the material. So let's go on material preview. So it's giving me this weird thing. I do know that the uh, the materials are on here. So when I go to viewport, the rendered view, it looks like this. So it's like black, but then not all the way black. Possible fix here. Check it out. So what I really wanted to do was, well, let's look at this. I really wanted to do a texture override. So I'm going to select this model over here, and then I'm going to go to add modifier and I'm going to go to subdivision surface and there you go. Now, oh, actually, I don't think this does have this, but it's giving me these weird artifacts, right? This isn't quite what I was looking for. This is on Catmo Clark. Put it on simple. It's going to give you back this. Now, I, I don't think that I imported the material anyway, because I like to do material overrides because it helps me speed things up. So if I go over here to my little cube that I have at the bottom here, it's my it's it's I have this set up this way. Uh, I want to do a material override. I have my own little override material already in the asset browser. So now this turns it to a nice little gray. So let's see if this works with everything else. Now, I, I think the reason why this has the subdivision uh, and I'm going to go ahead and apply it. And so let's select another model. We're going to add a modifier subdivision surface. We are going to put this on simple because Catmo Clark, it gives it that that rounded look as it would when it's doing subdivision. So if you want it just to stay that way, it's just a different algorithm. Listen to me sounding like I understand science. Uh, so, yeah, so now I'm getting my texture override. So you just hit subdivision surface and simple and apply. And as we can see, and I, I have it on texture override again. I just want to repeat that because I know 3D stuff gets really confusing and it makes people angry, or at least it made me angry. You see how that corrected itself? So Catmo Clark, if you have it just on Catmo Clark, it's going to have these rounded edges. And you just put it on simple and it's fine. And so I just want to keep doing this to show you that it is working. Put it on simple. Just go around. And I forgot to hit apply, but that's OK. I can just go back and hit apply. And so now you can actually see that I got my texture override like I wanted. And that's how it's doing this. So I think what is going on is that a lot of I think maybe some of the models don't have a. Just a, a large enough texture surface, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but I don't care, honestly, because as long as this is working for me and I'm just keep doing this to show you that it is working. So check that out. So that's Catmo Clark. Uh, you put it on simple, it, it goes right back to the to the the thing there. So you can see it does work. Right? It's working. Subdivision surface. Because also this was happening with some of my other DAS Studio models. Oh, I put another one on there. That was weird. Okay, I shouldn't have did that. Whoops. So this was also uh, happening with some of the other stuff in my asset browser. Um, so you can see it's now now it's giving me this nice little texture override with everything. 
uh, with the subdivision surface. And this was happening with, uh, let me see, sets in, I'm gonna hit pause real quick so I can find one of the models. Okay, so I imported this, uh, this jet here. So I imported this and I go back to my layout. Whoops. And I just want to make sure that this is actually working. Let's just kind of put this up here a little bit. Zoom in. So you can see it's not really giving me everything here. So let's see. Subdivision surface modifier. This might take a little bit to calculate this. I'm just going to wait. Your computer might take a little bit longer uh, just for specs. And not to say this to brag, but to get in. And it's not anything to brag about because now my computer is a lot older. Um, I have a 1080 graphics card and about 64 gigabytes of RAM. It is a GTX, not an RTX. So if you have an older machine like me, then <laughs> this is this is taking some time here. Uh, it's not even popping up. Did I even press the button? Hold on. Yeah, I pressed it. Okay, so it's it's it might crash. It very well might crash. I'm gonna hit pause in case it crashes. Okay, so now uh, it didn't crash. So I'm gonna it's it's on Catmull Clark. Let's go simple. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this right here. Let's see, let's take a look at this. Um, I got a look, I got some artifacty stuff here. Let's see something here. Uh, well, I, I'm not gonna get into all that. Let's just hit apply. <laughs> let's just hit apply. Okay, so now I have all these other. Uh, uh, so the textures, uh, I still got the pink texture. That's an entirely other video. But for those of you that were having this tr this problem of having these models look like this over here, uh, I would say give that a try, and that might actually help out. Uh, and and uh, if if anyone has. Uh, a better solution that's great i look forward to hearing it in the comments so you can help somebody else out uh hopefully this has been helpful for you guys thank you so much for watching uh, and i'm supposed to say the internet stuff like share subscribe okay bye